Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Mysticraft server. So, today, today is the day after Christmas. And I was AFK most of the day, the day before Christmas. And, um, when I signed off for the day, this, this, this right here is, uh, I mean, I did, I did the leaves, I did the planks, because that line of trees right there is what I was AFKing for, because we need to restock our tree shop, or our, our log shop. And I think I was on, like, maybe my third round of trees for the day, and that stone appeared and those signs appeared. Now I haven't actually left to officially look at this stuff yet. Uh, I wanted to do it on camera. So let's go ahead and uh, break out here. <laughs> oh jeez. Sorry to have ruined your base. Oh, I get it, ruins, okay. Uh, but the viewers demanded it. You were AFK for so <laughs> long. <laughs> That a civilization rose and fell. The only remnants, their shrine to you, the immortal yet comatose lady. <laughs> May your AFK yields be plentiful. Sorry for the awful pun, Vold. <laughs> of course it was Vold. Who else would it be? <laughs> That's a nice little ruin, though. I kind of like it. I think possibly. Nope. Okay. I wasn't sure. He had mentioned. Oh, wait. The only thing that he put, <laughs> he put vines on this side. Look at how long they are. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. So those grew. Um... I think that's all he did. That grew. Okay. So let's um let's actually fly out of here. Get rid of those skelebobs. I'm not gonna talk about the water because um that's it in an episode coming up, I promise. It's just taking forever. Um okay, so these guys I actually need to chop down so that we can go and deliver some acacia wood to our tree shop along with i think it also needs some jungle leaves see we've, we're almost actually kind of good on the acacia which is awesome so let me go ahead and collect all of these guys and go get some jungle leaves and I, you know what i'm gonna leave this for now um i will bring you guys back when i'm over at the shopping district Welcome back to the shopping district. Uh, it is all still done up in, uh, in Christmas. And uh, the guys that did this did an absolutely gorgeous, amazing job. It looks so fantastic out here. We've got wreaths hanging from, from giant tentacles and a star over, I think that's over Chibi's Shulker Box Shop. No? Ooh, what is that over? The shulker box got a Santa hat, it looks like. And oh, the beacon. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at it. And our pie shop is a present. So amazing. All the decorations. Um, everybody on the server really went all out this year. It's it's amazing. But we are gonna come in here to our little shop. And I'm going to plunk all of these down right here in front of the door. And we're going to stock everything up. I am not anticipating there being any diamonds in here because um, I, I have emptied it recently. So let's put all that in there. We've got some, oh, some spruce. Excellent. It pays to keep your shops stocked, people. I'm very bad at it. Do not follow my example. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put you in there. And do we have, yep, acacia leaves. 
are actually stopped. So let's put all of you guys back in here. Okay, so we've got oak leaves stocked. What are these? Spruce and birch. What are these? Dark oh, somebody bought dark oak leaves. Interesting. Birch. Oh wow. Uh we're gonna need more birch leaves. Do I have any up here? No. Birch. 32. That's it. Okay. Um, and spruce. Holy goodness. All right, let's, uh, let's restock that with all these guys. There we go. Get that out of there. Good. And let's see what else we got. Ah, uh, the jungle leaf. Let's see, where did I put it? Jungle. Restocked. Let's put the rest of it in here. Actually, there's space in there. Let's put it all together. And we'll just dump this shulker box right here into um, into those chests up there. So we've got some more acacia. Oh, it's full. All right, let's put uh let's put it up here. Jungle, jungle. Look at that. Is that all jungle? That's all jungle. Oak. Perfect. We don't want we don't want little. Oh my goodness! I need more dark oak. That's easy though. Keep that. Keep that. Good. We don't want to sell two leaves. Oh, that's a sh that's a ender chest. All right, we are we are successfully restocked, and how many? We made forty one diamonds, folks. That's amazing. That is fantastic, and we have a stocked shop, so I'm going to go ahead and let everybody in the Discord know that we are stocked and ready for business, except for, what was it, Dark Oak? I'll fill it up. No, no worries. Um, we have a ridiculous amount of Dark Oak. I'm just going to bring a shulker box down. I don't even have to chop trees for that. So I'm going to let everybody know that we are stocked. Fill up the dark oak, and I will catch you guys back over at um at our base for what we're gonna be doing today. Welcome back, everybody. I have the shop um one hundred percent stocked and filled, and now we get to play with this. This is a um a little gift that we got from the wonderful Queen Voldorius who um did a hundred chunk dig and it is now actually finished and we helped a little bit um i know it wasn't in any videos or anything uh but i did help him out it wasn't a whole lot because i was having um some internet issues uh when most people were working on it which also happened to coincide uh roughly with our stream day unfortunately oops i didn't mean to do that um, so I didn't help nearly as much as I would have liked. Did I break all of that? Holy cow. Wow. Okay. I broke all the things, apparently. <laughs> um, so, uh, we did get this present, though, and all this wonderful, wonderful, uh, prismarine. I'm not sure where... That piece of stone came from. And we'll have to replace those stairs. Let's see. Ah, uh, they might actually be in these guys. Nope. Okay. So let's look in here. And we've got diamonds. Oh <gasps> no. Backup picks. With their skeleton. Uh we're gonna have to get our our Ooh, what's this? Get our rocket box for that. Well, Darius owes you 1x help with something, i.e. a tentacle. <laughs> the shop was a tentacle that we saw. Yeah, that was his. 
Um, gathering resources, dig site, mob transport, supply of rockets, custom map. Things that are not included, redstone and villagers, unless we want him to kill them. Fair enough. And we get a shulker box out of it too. That's awesome. And a seat lantern. Even better. So I'm just going to put this guy right here for now. We'll put the sea lantern in here. We'll put the diamonds in here. What else we got? Um, we'll toss this in here. Ooh, with our skulls. Where do we want to put those? We'll put those right here. There we go. So today uh, I had to take that down because we're actually going to come down these stairs and work on this space over here, which I am oh so very excited for. Here we go. Let's make all the brown carpet. Why not? Perfect. Let's put the dye back. So over here, um, you can see we've got some, what is this, nether wart growing here. So over here, I actually want to do kind of like a little, a little potions setup. And I think we're going to start by um, not having to jump anymore, <laughs> which is awesome. Let's see. These are, okay. So let's go ahead and put three across like this, just like the other one that we did. And one more. And I do want, um, I do want all of these hallways to be the same. It's not the most exciting thing in the world for you guys to watch, of course, but, um, I think it goes along with the whole feeling that this used to be a mine of, of some kind. And I said it wasn't going to be any fun for you guys to watch this again. So I just went ahead and, uh, and I did it. So it looks exactly the same as, uh, as the stairwells over there. Obviously the roof hasn't been done. Uh, I'll probably do that in a live stream coming up. And then I did... Uh, break out this wall and push this one back because they were uh, where the pillars would be right here which made the whole thing way too narrow um, so I had to I had to I had to make some room so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this space but uh, I'll figure something out that makes it look a little less unplanned <laughs> I think uh, we will see but now I do definitely want to get um, down into this room. We've got our lights. I love these lights. I love them. Okay. Um, I put these guys in and honestly, uh, I've been looking at this room for a little while. These can't be removed. Uh, this can't be removed because that's actually our storage room right there. And this can't go up any higher because it's... Uh, it's a storage room. <laughs> so our ceiling is going to have to be a little bit unique for this room, I think. Uh, I do kind of want to do another natural ceiling like this, so I think it'll work. But for the rest of the room, honestly, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. So I think what I may do, I've got all of our materials and stuff here for the room itself. I just don't know. I just don't know what I want to do with them all. Um, it's possible we may end up doing a uh, something, something fancy, kind of like that, or uh, I just don't know. That takes up so much space. So what I'm gonna do? Something that I I don't actually normally do on. Um, for, for videos like this, I'm going to actually work on this room probably almost completely off camera and I will bring you guys back with, uh, with a progress update. Cause I honestly don't have any idea where this is going to go and it's going to take me a lot of time moving stuff around and figuring stuff out, but I will, I will bring you back when I've got something to show you. And we are back. I'm going to show you guys this room in... Ooh. you have to put these in manually? I guess so. In just a minute, uh, I've just got some glass bottles here that we can put into our um, brewing brewing stands. I love that. Watch, watch. These, these guys move. Okay. 
That's wild. Okay. <laughs> so we've got extra glass bottles to go in here. We'll put our extra brewing stands in here. And this is the room that we've got. I added a lot of storage. Not really sure why. Um, all of these chests are, are in fact empty. Um, we've got our brewing stands, of course, which is an essential part of a potions room. Uh, I added this little space back here. I'm not really sure why exactly, but I did. Um, I kind of like it. And yeah, shelving. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple for, for a room, uh, to be honest. And I want to do one last thing for this room on camera with you guys, and that's to do a little bit of decoration with uh some of our ingredients because we can so can we oh we can so i want to do some of this and uh, apparently i'm out of item frames that's okay though um and i want to put some of the the goodies that you can use in potions on um on these guys i want to put that one right there i think go redstone it's curious that that's like sideways uh what oh let's put a ghast here right there there we go i like that and then i'm just gonna toss the rest of all of these ingredients in here um to be used later i think that i think that works i think that works so next episode hopefully um, this, this area will be done and we've got some, we'll get some detailing in this, in this ceiling as well, or at least more than there is right now. And I think hopefully crossing my fingers, we'll be able to go back upstairs and show you guys all the work that I have been doing to this ocean. But for now, unfortunately, um, it has been a, a bit of a shorter episode. Um, the episode took quite a while uh unfortunately halfway through recording it i did get sick so i was sick for for about a day and a half and didn't do anything at all and now i'm just really trying to get this out for you guys on sunday like i'm supposed to um i hope you guys enjoyed i know it wasn't terribly exciting but i do kind of like how this room came out it's different especially with that little cove back there not sure what i'm gonna do with it but we'll see uh, for now, though, I am going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>